colour. Um, let's try another one. Never mind, never mind. What about this one? And... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, now that's a nice shade, isn't it, man? Oh, great, Jennifer. How does it feel to have a dead whale on your face? <laughs> Right, everybody. Um, now then, as you did elect me as house supervisor, well, virtually, um, I've divided the board into three categories. These are the names, these are the chores to remember, and these are the little extra things to remember while you're doing the chores. For instance, say, Shelley is on loo on Tuesday. She should remember under the rim. Oh, and you can't rely on Shelley, you know, man. You can't rely well, on her. Well, for instance, you, Candy, say if your string leads you here to hoovering on Wednesday. What's that, then, then... Dad? Let me get my notebook. Let me get What's that then? Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Hoovering. Yeah. You must remember here to empty bag if full. Mind, must you always, always do what the doctors tell you to do? Because well. they told me not to do anything, but you know, I want to clean. You know, it's one of the things I miss, but, <laughs> well, you know, I can't, can I, Jen? She can't form a scab. Well, uh, <laughs> Jennifer, you are just going to have to learn to use it on your own. See me as supervisor if you've got any problems. I remember at school you was in charge of the notice board. People used to scribble all over it. Zeke Heil and um, teachers. Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer, you've got something nasty on your nose. Here, love. Something nasty. <laughs> Shelley, right. If you're on the new on Tuesday... How'd the audition for cats go, Shell? Don't ask. I gave them a medley from Yentl and they cut me dead. That's fine with me. I mean, who wants to work on all fours? Oh, another not, Shell. Another don't call us, because they're always saying that to her, you know, man. Excuse me. Are those my earrings on your ears? Mad Jen, why the earrings on my ears? Oh, there's something very creepy going on around here. All right, all right, all right. Let's sort this out like adults now. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catching it. And out of curiosity, how did you get that tan? I told you, Shell, I inherited it. My grandmother's got gypsy blood. Okay, Miss Tambourine, I think you've been using my sunbed. I'm staring at a blueprint of my goggles on your face. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's my makeup evaporating at $60 a second. Oh, don't worry. It's only cheap stuff. You get the same with boot, Shell. Yes, you can get the same in the Atlantic if you're prepared to clever baby seal to death. <laughs> This stuff is made out of the glands of people from Beverly Hills. That's disgusting, Shelley. Man, leave her alone. What can you expect from an unemployed actress who can't get any work? I mean, it must affect her. How dare you? Do you know how hard it is trying to break into show business? Oh, sure. Lana Turner didn't make it until after she died. your mouths, you hysterical bitches. I sit at my desk endeavouring to create the novel. And instead, mesdames, I am raped in both ears. Sorry about the noise, Lady Carlton. Sorry is a barren abyss. I laugh at it. <laughs> She's so deaf. Oh, the slut. <laughs> Still here. Hello. A slut, yes, you're absolutely right, Lady Carlton, and a huge burden to society. But, you know, we've searched in our hearts and decided to let her stay here till she finds somewhere else to live. All minus one. Yeah, they're a great bunch, minus one. Well, on your heads be it. But I warn you, if I so much as hear a feather caress the carpet, <laughs> I shall telephone the police. <laughs> well, I think a noise level meeting is in order here. I'd love to listen, man, but I've got to go because I've got to attend a very large opening. Oh, whose? <laughs> have a doubting Thomas in our midst. It's for underprivileged orphans, actually, man. Anyway, mustn't keep the little babes waiting, must I? <laughs> Goodbye forever! Your bags will be in the hall! <laughs> I want her out. Shirley, I am fighting every day to try and make this a nicer world to live in. As I've often said before... Right. And we have blast off. If I could just quote from Spare Cheeks, Shirley. Women, stand erect, lift up your breasts and roar. <laughs> End of quote. 
And ultimately, and okay, finally... Okay, here, here, uh, but Madam House Person, since communism is your middle name, can we just get everybody's opinion? Of course, Shelley. Hey, Jennifer, do you think this flat is too overcrowded for four people? Yeah, Tell her. It's just a bit overcrowded for four people. <laughs> and do you think I'm being mean asking her to leave? Yes. Hey, listen, you don't pay rent either. I mean, you're sponging off of me and I never mention it, so I can't be that horrible, can I? That's true, she can't be that horrible because yes, yes, I'm Jennifer, sponging off we her already. all know that, but the motion is, should Candice stay or leave? So, Jennifer, tell me, is Candice Valentine your friend? Yes. yes. And don't you think that Candy puts nice, pretty makeup on you all the time? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, so feel free to state your case then, Jennifer. And don't forget, the baby Jesus punishes people who throw their friends out in the cold. <laughs> well, she's my friend, Shelley. Yes, thank you very much, Jennifer. There, you see, the case is closed. This is something you don't know very much about, Shelley. Part of the British tradition to vote democratically, always including everyone, even the mentally ill. So, um, that's me, Miss Ripley, and Miss Marsh for the motion. That, that, and, that's, um, that's very impressive, how you are so very fair. But, um, Miss House Person, before the final count, can I ask you one teeny weeny question? Of course, Shelley, it's a free society. Who pays the rent? Ah. Well, that's unanimous then, is it? Candice is out on her bottom. <laughs> so she's made fun of herself again. You know, actress. Ah, don't make me laugh. You know, I mean, I'm always honest with her. I said to her, Shell, for you, life is going to be one long round of disappointment. I mean, all I do is I give tea. You just put out and that's all you do. No, I give tea. That's what I do. I give. <laughs> Lie. I don't smoke. <laughs> and she goes on and on about her jewellery. I mean, would you wear these earrings? <laughs> so she's throwing you out? No then. way. No way. Uh, oh, Pat's all done. Goodbye, Candy's Valentine. Wait a minute, we missed something. I think I just discovered a cure for leukemia. <laughs> because Candice has only got two pairs of pants. <laughs> These must be a pair of yours that she's borrowed, Shelley. Upchuck City. <laughs>